Okay, greetings. I am going to show you how to make a paper snowflake. Um, you don't, it doesn't have to be a snowflake. You can use this pattern for lots of things. Any basic six-sided or six-pointed thing you want, you can do. So you start out with a piece of paper. If you, um, if you already have a square piece of paper, that's even better. But I'm going to make mine into a square by folding it uh, with the triangle method here. Now I make a triangle crease. I'm going to cut off the excess. And then I'm going to take my triangle and fold the pointy ends. I mean, okay, they're all pointy. But let's be honest. You know what I mean. All right. So I'm going to fold it to make another triangle. Try to line it up as much as possible, but whatever. All right. So here's where it gets tricky. You want it in thirds uh, because, you know, six divided by two is three or something. Um, so you're going to bring this over. And I'm actually going to go a little bit less than a third. So basically, this and this should be about the same size, but the part that you're folding should be a tiny, tiny bit shorter this way um, so that there's room for the fold. Okay, so that's what I have so far. This is just like a little bit wider that way. See if I did it right. Ha -ha. Mostly. Okay. Mostly. Okay. So you can kind of see that it almost lines up. You want this lined up as much as possible. This part was a little wonky, but don't tell anyone. Okay. So this is an extra step that I usually skip, but if this is your first time making it, it makes it easier. Cut off this part, just like so, because anything above there, if you try to make a pattern out of it, you won't get a consistent pattern because it doesn't point up on all parts. So now you have your little ice cream cone, and I'm just going to make, I'm just going to do triangles. So I'm going to point this way, I'm going to have it point that way. Okay. And I'm just going to start cutting out triangles, and uh, should be nice. Ooh, that was a very thin slice. Ah. And sometimes it gets stuck and I just pull them out. Alright, and you know what? Hmm, did I... Alright. I'm going to cut off the tip because that is going to give you, oops, <laughs> sorry, um, that's going to give you um, basically a hole in the middle of the star. I'm going to show you one that I did for the first take of this video. Cutting off the tip gives you a hole there. So that's what I did there. And you know what? I said I was going to do triangles, but I'm going to do some half circles and see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> Should make full circles, but they're not really that round. Okay, that might end up looking like a heart. Yeah. Now, for someone doing uh, scissor work, I have no dexterity. Um, anyway, so I'm going to unfold carefully. Where's the fold? There's the fold. The unfolding. Ooh, oh, that's neat. Ta-da! So, something that I like to do when I go to hang it up, I kind of like just pinch the corners that are really folded to kind of flatten them out. And you can also just like put them on the table and flatten them out, but um, pinching works too. So anyway, Let's see, how did I do? Ah, so you know how I said that not all of the, uh, 
not all of the pattern would show. I think I clipped it at the top somehow because they all should look like this, but some of them look like that. It happens. You know, I used to never trim them after because I thought that was cheating. And now, like, I don't care. I should be able to do whatever I want because they're my stars. Or snowflakes. Yep. No one will know now. Except for everyone who watches this video. All right. Happy cutting.